Hey Pisces, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Pisces. And because it is general, it may or may not resonate with you and that is perfectly okay. And also the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you are cross-watching for someone or watching for your own self. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below. And in case you haven't watched any of the other signs, know that I will be doing this reading a little bit differently this time around. For those of you who have been following me, I will be focusing more on your energy and a little bit less on the other person, but you can always check out their, their sign if you want. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, what is going on with you in a love connection for the first couple weeks of October? All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Two of Pentacles crossed by the High Priestess. Okay, so something is overwhelming here to you. There's a lot, there's a lot on your plate, um, and it could be on a practical level, it could be on an emotional level, it could be decisions that you have to make, but it just feels like there's a lot. And because of this, I feel like you're focusing so much on juggling like so many things in your life. It could be that you're having a little bit of a hard time tapping into your intuition. Now, of course, because this is a love reading, somewhere in all of this juggling, there is a connection here with someone else as well. And so it might feel like it's a little bit difficult to cope with this connection because you have like just so much. Let's see the recent past. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, so maybe recently there was um, some communication. Somebody may have spoken to you from their heart or maybe you, you spoke to them from your heart. But it feels like there was some kind of an opening up here emotionally. For your consciousness, we have the Page of Wands. For your subconscious, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, um, there is some motivation here. There is some motivation. There is some wanting to do something. <laughs> you want to do something, but then in your subconscious, we have the Seven of Swords. It's almost like you're not trusting this something. <clears throat> Let's see your current energy. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, love, like... You feel love, and I feel like, you know, maybe you are also feeling love from this other person, but you're definitely in an energy of feeling deep love here. Let's see the other person's energy. We have judgment. Ooh, okay, so the other person might be going through something pretty significant at this point in time. Maybe they're making a decision, or maybe they're going through some kind of a transformation, or, um, yeah, almost like renewing themselves in a way. Let's see what is coming up. We have the King of Swords. Okay. So that's a lot of <clears throat> that's a lot of determination and I feel like this is actually putting things in order. Like actually whatever it is that you're trying to cope with that feels overwhelming. I it, it just feels like, you know, things are kind of falling into place here. Like you're taking some action that is just really, you know, going to be effective. Let's see the message for you. We have strength. Okay, so that's Leo's energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo or maybe you have Leos in your chart. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is pretty much encouragement, you know, to have the courage to go after what it is that you want and having the courage to listen to your intuition. Whatever, whatever your intuition is telling you here. So let's actually clarify and get some more details here. So let's see the two of pentacles with the high priestess. The knight of wands, the hierophant. Okay, so Taurus energy. And the Ace of Cups showing up a second time. Whew, okay, there's a lot of love here. You have a lot of love for this connection. Um, not only that, it feels like this is a connection where, you know, you feel like it is more meaningful. It is, it is like a higher level <clears throat> of connection and like 
a higher level of love, if there is such a thing, right? Um, but it, it feels like things are shaky because having both that Two of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, I mean, things are not have not been very stable. And again, because I feel because I'm focusing on your energy, I feel like this is you know your. It, it's coming from you mostly, like just not feeling very. <clears throat> stable within this connection even though you would want something committed here you would want stability but there's something that's overwhelming either about this connection or just in your life that then also makes this connection overwhelming as well let's see the page of cups for the recent past Ooh, three of swords and the six of wands. What happened here? Because it feels like there's there's communication here from the heart, but this <clears throat> also led to pain. And I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if somebody's ego got in the way or if somebody is... Um, could be the other person. Somebody is worried about how successful they are or, you know, what their status is, if they're high value enough. But it, it just feels like after this opening up, there's a lot of heartbreak here. Or maybe the conversation was even um, heartbreaking in and of itself. But it does seem like whatever that is, whatever that was, it's attached to either a little bit of ego or just some kind of some kind of maybe, like I said, you know, <clears throat> it could be that somebody didn't feel recognized enough. I don't know, Pisces. Let me know in the comments what this is about. Let's see the Page of Wands. Let's see if we can clear, clear this up. Page of Wands in your consciousness here. We have the Eight of Wands and the Five of Wands. Something here is conflicting you. Because um, it feels like you want to go one way you, you and you have this enthusiasm for it. You have this motivation. And it could be just to communicate. So this could be what, what happened here in the past. It could be that actually in the recent past, <clears throat> somebody wanted to communicate here and didn't because of maybe a little bit of ego. It doesn't have to be you. It could be the other person. Okay, take it as it resonates. And that's what led to the heartbreak. And that's what led to pain. Not having done that. Or having talked but not having fully said everything that you wanted. Or vice versa. The other person not having said everything that they wanted. And because of ego and then feeling the pain because of that. Um, so yeah, it feels like here you are wanting to communicate or you're wanting to take some action here. Moving in a particular direction. But there's either... <clears throat> something is conflicting you here and, and I'm getting that for some of you this is going to be either other people getting involved or just other things that are interfering with you being able to do that or with your you know motivation to do that which could even be you know what it is that you are juggling here so I don't know who these people are or what these energies are because they it could just be work. For example, it doesn't necessarily have to be people, um, but it, it almost feels like they're distracting you or they're making you, these energies are making you feel like you cannot trust what you want to do. And these other energies, they could even be like your own thoughts for some of you that are just kind of like, yeah, no, 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 don't do that because remember what happened the last time there was this pain. Um... Let's see, let's see Seven of Swords. The Star, so Aquarius energy, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're totally blocking out 
you're something that you're wanting to do. And I do get that you're either feeling distracted or you just have so much on your plate that it just all feels overwhelming. And so it's like you're blocking out your intuition and what it's, um, what it's trying to guide you towards. I mean, because your intuition is showing up here again with the star. This is like divine guidance, right? Um, especially concerning something you would want, something you desire. But then you have the Seven of Swords and the Seven of Wands. It's like you're not trusting that or you're blocking that out. And this could be, like I said, you know, something you're not aware of because it's it's in your subconscious. Sometimes, and I mean, that's like the whole point of subconscious, right? Like it's not in our consciousness. So this is something that we can uncover, though. Just because it's in our subconscious doesn't mean that we can't uncover it and bring it into our awareness. All right, let's see the Ace of Cups. There's that Seven of Cups. There's those distractions. I was sure we were going to get that, actually. And the Six of Cups. It's almost like you're distracting yourself from love because, because of whatever these other energies are, whether they are your own thoughts or your own fears or whether they are actually other people and other energies from your environment coming into play. And it almost it comes in, like, I'm just going to say this, it almost comes in as it being convenient. Um, because then you get to avoid having to follow your intuition and do something that might be a little bit risky or that you might not be so sure about. It's coming in like that. And again, you know, even if you're a Pisces, it could be that I'm tapping into your person's energy, right? Remember, the rules can be reversed here. Whatever the case, though, you, I mean, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here. And it doesn't mean that just because you're kind of blocking it out or distracting yourself from it that you don't feel nostalgia. No, you do feel nostalgia for this connection. So let's take a look at judgment to see what is going on here in this other person's energy that is connected to you. Ooh, the lovers and the nine of pentacles. Ooh, okay. So, wow, this is someone who is definitely going through a big shift here. This is someone who also has a lot of love for you, right? I'm getting this is somebody who does want this connection. However, because of the situation and the way that it seems to be at the moment, or maybe because of, you know, your energy here, <clears throat> this person, this, this, like renewal that they're going through, it's learning how to be more self-reliant. This person is learning how to be more independent from this connection, even though they do feel that bond with you, even though they do feel this love and, you know, that you are connected, they're still also like separating themselves in a way from you, but not in the bad way. It's just in a way where, you know, maybe they were very attached to you. <clears throat> this person still wants you though, that's the thing. They still want you, they would want a new beginning with you, they would want a reconnection with you, like a second opportunity, um, but at the same time they are focusing on themselves and I feel like, you know, either working on their self-worth <clears throat> or just, you know, creating for their own self. Getting their life together in whatever way. Let's see what that King of Swords for the near future energy. Oh, the Fool and the Four of Wands. <laughs> wow, Pisces, it looks like, you know, you are moving in that direction or take it as the encouragement that, remember when I said that this might be a little risky, well, here it is, it's showing up with the Fool. I see you becoming more determined, thinking more logically, not allowing these other energies to influence you in a negative way or to distract you. And you're just being more determined. You're finding that willpower to take some kind of a risk here in order to have 
either this connection or just to have this stability because I do feel like things were not stable. Things have not been very stable. But with the Four of Wands, this is all about stability. It's all about having a very solid and strong foundation. So you are moving in the direction of making that, that decision here. <clears throat> It's all about just allowing yourself to listen to your intuition here and to, you know, just remove these external energies, whatever they are to you. All right, let's see strength for the final message here for you. The three of wands and the world. Okay, nice. So it is taking a little bit of time, um, but you're gaining strength. You are gaining strength to have some kind of a completion here, to have success. Spirit is saying you can have everything that you want. It's also a matter of, you know, expecting those things, like expecting to have that, expecting to have what you want to help you to get it. Like don't just... Don't just think about what you want, you know, expect it in the good way, right? And of course, we can't have expectations of other people. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about our own selves. So just stay strong through this, you know, find that courage to remove anything that is holding you back from what it is that you want, because it's like the world can be yours. All right, Pisces, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and we're going to pull a final oracle message for you. And we have cleaned it up. Why did we get this so many times this time around? I feel like so many signs got this particular card. Um, so yeah, you know, whatever it is, it's just what I said, whatever it is that is like clouding your intuition, whatever it is that is messing with your mind, whatever it is that is distracting you, interfering with your willpower or with your own decisions, clean it up. <laughs> just remove it like with a dustpan, you know? Um, so yeah, Pisces, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.